the way that I describe like an Alan Wake game is it's essentially a video game adaptation of like a Stephen King novel. That's the that's the best kind of comparison I can I can make for an Alan Wake game. But I think that's that's as close as it can get because it's all about mystery. It's a thriller. There's action. There's combat. Uh, there's there's you know detective skills and stuff like that. A little bit of everything. It's a really really solid game mix. Uh, does anybody know? Uh, did we go live on YouTube? Did it work? I haven't. I'm I'm really really. I don't know if I have a way of checking that on my side. I just hope for the best. I'm not really too sure. You're a huge Stephen King fan? Oh man, yes, absolutely. I have a few novels myself. He's such a fantastic writer. Thanks for posting the recap. Absolutely, I'm glad it worked. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It's like 12 minutes and really, really easy to go through. Itachi, Dean, welcome on in. It worked. Yes, perfect. Okay. Hello, YouTube. Welcome in. Hello, hello, everybody. All right. I'll get I'll I'll just get right to it. No messing around over here. We got Twitch, we got YouTube. Everybody's watching now. Uh so this is Alan Wake 2. The highly anticipated sequel to the huge game that came out in 2010. Alan Wake 2. What? I never did play the DLCs though. I never did play the DLCs. I never played the main game. Uh like at least twice. I went through that story. Really, really awesome. But this is a detective mystery action huge story narrative game. I've been waiting for this game for literally 13 years. I'm really, really pumped for this. This is gonna look phenomenal. It's what 2023 now? This is gonna look so much better than the first one. It's gonna be like nine days. It's gonna be absolutely nuts. You think Tenno mentioned this game? It's gonna be so good. Are you recording? No, I, I mean, we're on we're on live on YouTube, so I'm gonna use the recording that goes live uh, for the broadcast, but I'm not gonna record separately because it blows up my computer. <laughs> it definitely blows up my computer. Hey gamer, welcome back. Conway misses, I see you over there, Kamchatsky. Hi, hi YouTube. <laughs> Swirl, I see ya. I'm gonna cough again, hold on. I'm I'm trying to fight through this cold. I'm I'm getting I'm getting through here as best I can. So just a heads up too, I won't be talking through the cutscenes because I really want to make it as a cinematic experience as possible. So anytime there's like a cutscene or a dialogue, I will likely just shut up and not talk. Uh, so just a heads up and a precursor to that. Uh, but are you guys ready to dive into this? I'm really pumped. Hey, Warka, welcome in. Yeah, the 4092 week, I know. I need a second PC for all this. Hey, Jane, welcome in as well. It's It's time, it's time. All right, let's do this. Let's hit new game. Uh, story, normal or hard? Just normal mode's fine. Continue, yes. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Whoa, whoa, am I am I playing as this guy? I I think I am. 
Uh, yeah, I told I'm playing as this random guy, this golem looking for the ring in this. What is this? <laughs> Wait, I wasn't expecting this. Hey, Harpa, welcome in. How you doing? Okay, okay. We got a little bit of belly, right? Look at that. Well, look at this. This is dad bod. This is peak, peak male right here. Hold on, does my audio even work? Okay, it does. I was wondering. Okay. I'm gonna have it quite loud, I think. I'm gonna have it quite loud. Okay, well, oh yeah, I can use a controller. What am I doing? I don't even need a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> yeah, we let ourselves go over here. Hey, this cough. Okay, well, let's get to this. So what, who, who are we? What are we doing? Why, where's our shirt? This looks great. I'm assuming we just go up the path, right? It seems to make sense. Look at the trees. Jeez. Uh oh, he doesn't like the light. Uh oh. I'm going to go this way. I think I'm going to dodge the people. Where did he go? You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to bump up the dialogue a little bit for you guys. Because I feel like the dialogue... Yeah, look at this. Why is... Crank this up. 120. That should be a little bit louder now. Dialogue should always be the loudest thing. Let's go up here. Can I, can I sprint? I don't think I can. We don't have the capabilities. Where are we anyway? It just kind of throws you right into the middle of something, doesn't it? Hello? What is going on? Are we seeing visions or is that actually happening to us? A lot of sounds in these woods. Oh, there we go. We can sprint. Not very fast, mind you, but we can kind of sprint a little bit. Um, I think I see... Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, um. Who was that? What was that? The shadow monster. Can I go up here? I don't think I can. Um, this way, I guess. It sounds almost like wolves. Okay. We got a small little pond. Oh, house. Wait, is this a house? What is this? No, it's a shed. I think there's nothing for me here. Okay. So dusty. So windy. Oh, hi. Do we want to avoid? Yeah, we want to avoid them, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't think we can fight them. We have zero combat skills. Negative combat. Oh, they have guns too. Awesome. Shadow people with guns. I have no shirt. Not a fair battle. Go towards the light, I guess. I have no idea. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, um, ow. Hold on. Hold on. Slight detour. Can I dodge? Do I have the capability to dodge at least? I kind of feel like I'm going back in circles here. No, no, please don't. Oh, they're a really good shot. Not good enough though. No, no. <laughs>
Okay, who's Tammy? Oh no. Well, he didn't last long. That's not my fault either. And that's how you do titles. That's great. That's a vibe right there. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. <laughs> what happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Nice. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan? I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. <laughs> ah, the coffee. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. I just realized they're FBI. They got the jackets. The FBI were in the previous game as well. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. They were kind of the antagonists, though. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Oh, look at this. Return one, invitation. Our first chapter begins. We have goals on the top left corner. I'm kind of covering them up. Memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. But I'll read them out. This is pretty cool so far, right? This is sweet. I take a look at that map. You know, the, yeah, the titles are really cool. I really, really like this. We have a map here. Let's check this out. The map displays key locations to the area. Nightmare territory. I think I hear someone. Oh. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. You hear a radio? Hey, over here. Hey there. Hello? Right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that. Uh, Where's those damn gonna show up, Mulligan? Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. <laughs> right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit. They didn't hear me, did they? Oh, we totally heard him. Um, any witnesses? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at oh, night. I mentioned the city folk. They're pretty suspicious. Not 
that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. Why would they? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. Yeah, let's take a look at I the body. I see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Easy. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. I don't even know where we are. Like, where in the Pacific Northwest are we? Meet Before Deputy we get Thornton. To the crime Got scene, it. There's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Okay, so how do I review the facts, the clues? I need to think through the facts of the case. You can access the case board inside the mine, uh, mine place. Ooh, let's check this out. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. Ooh. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Okay, I, I like this I idea. I have heard of the mine palace technique before. I think we've actually seen it in other video games. So this is gonna be her version. I mean, that's kind of cool, actually. Ponos, welcome in. How you doing? Want someone play the first 25 minutes of the game you're gonna love it i i really love the first one i feel like this one's gonna be even better and like the first one was a bit of a mind trip for sure the first alan wake game was was something else uh i have a feeling this is gonna be like the same thing but like times 10. yeah definitely like sherlock vibes definitely like sherlocky for sure case board everything we know about the previous murders oh this is cool. so cool okay worth taking another look do i dive into each piece of evidence here the case board is a mental technique that allows saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation uh use art to move around okay so i think we just kind of read and like zoom into different things so yeah zoom in zoom out yep move the cursor you're now free to navigate the case board or uh leave by pressing that i got it okay so let's go back in i want i want to take a look around uh this is the the original case here i think to the left confidential Internal dis uh, dissemination only. Uh, what does it say? Cauldron Lake Murders. So how do I... Can I go into it? I don't think I can actually open it, unfortunately. The Cauldron Lake Murders. Okay, I can hover over things. Oh, I see. A series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. That's the same location as the very first Alan Wake game. Finding the connections will help uh, our search for the killer. So the murder method... Slight difference in murders, bloating only commonality in bodies, but not cause of death, chest trauma, exposure to water post-mortem. Bruising on wrists and legs. Oh, look at this stuff, though. Two of the victims had bruising, some form of restraint, strapped or belted down, which we did see in the opening cinematic. The, the larger male that we played, he was, like, strapped down to the sacrificial table. A deep gash in the chest, heart missing. Most recent victim died of major chest trauma. Consistent with 2018 victim, hard to confirm due to condition of body. And then all bodies experienced bloating. Bloating of the corpse is indicative of drowning, but only one victim was found in water. Up top, we have the victims. All victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities. Okay, we have Ted Lane. He's a dentist. Stab wounds, bloating, bruising of the wrists. The victim was reported missing in 2010, discovered in 2012, buried in a shallow grave. Then we have Wendy Davis, teacher, body bloated, large chest wound, found in Cauldron Lake in 2018. Some organs missing. Predation? State of the body does not match eight years spent in a lake. And lastly, we have Percy Wolf, store owner, bruising, heart removed, and strange tattoos. Found two weeks ago, chest wound was ruled as a cause of death. Tattooing on the body is illegible. It happened before or after. Thank you, Apple. I appreciate it. How you doing? Uh, no problem, Ponus. Uh, thanks for popping in. 400, good to see you. I hope TwitchCon was awesome. It was fantastic. Thank you for asking. It was so much fun. So, so much fun. The last thing we have down in here is the killer profile. So, post-mortem tattooing on the body. Okay, so the tattooing does come afterwards. Victim number three was covered in illegible tattoos. A message from the killer, maybe? Or their art? The murder targets have no discernible common traits. Apart from going missing in 2010, the victims have nothing apparent in common. 
and the killer may be a sportsman or hunter. There's trust trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. And that's everything we have so far. Not a lot to go on, unfortunately. We have our work cut out for us here. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Oh yeah, we have a long Let's head way down to the go. Hill to the crime scene. Hey Casey, you putting me in charge? Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. That's a lot Are to say. Are you of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Is that like the running joke when, I, when a cop says it's like their last case? It's like the case that like takes forever to solve or never never gets solved. It's like a cold case. Out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Sounds old. You sound old. Whoa. Easy jumps, no problem. Okay, we're at Mirror Peak. The mighty mountain in the distance is no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. Looks lovely. Looks very nice. Quite the hike oh, down the body, though. Nature gives me a headache. It's too much sky. It's too much sky. Is Casey a city boy? This is way better. This could literally be my own backyard right now, though. How much further is this? Like? Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Not a bad place to get murdered. Wow. Okay. Like, can I, oh, I can run. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Well, who's this? Oh, it's Thornton. The other cop, right? Or local? Hey! Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Wait, this is a store? Look at the location. Where are we? I don't think it gets a lot of business down here, right? FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? Uh you guys hiring? Let's just see this body, shall we? Is it gonna be the same body that we were playing as earlier? Oh, I, I bet it is. It has to be, right? Now this is the scene of the crime. Oh yeah, it's totally the same guy. Now, we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Uh Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, Step this guy one. was alive, right, Drake? Examine the corpse. Jen, think of the three months. Appreciate it. How you doing? This it was gated off, uh, off and closed down, like this this store area. Like where I mean, it looks like it's been overgrown for like years. This must be like an old, like decrepit area of a town or something, uh, right? By inspecting the body, Anderson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's, let's check this thing out here. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You unlocked your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mine palace. Let's do that now. Uh, so the up arrow allows Saga to see clues. The key image can be selected with the X and placed on the case board. Let's try doing that. Do Another I just put it anywhere? Up just as we arrive in town. Convenient. Placing a key image on the case board will begin a new lines of investigation. Oh! Another body has been found in the woods near Bright Falls. Perfect timing. Needs to see if this is linked to the killings we're here to investigate. When the key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable at the case board in your goals. There's so much to go through in this game. 
You're not free to examine the case board. Thank you. So let's see. So this is the new question that gets prompted because we took this this new clue on the board here, right? Uh, so is it consistent with the previous murders? We need we need more evidence. We need a lot more stuff. Wait, what am, what are my current goals? Investigate the crime scene. Got it. Um, how do I? Yeah, get out of this here. So let's look for more clues here. Wait, there's clue markers here. There's footprints. More footprints. Do I just keep clicking on the body? I think I do. You can collect clues from the body to progress the investigation. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Yep. We've seen that before. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Weird. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Same MO, right? So now I can probably uh, go in here. Place these. Yeah, it all makes sense. Wait, does this not go here? Cargo straps used to restrain victim. Can I place this on the wall? Or do I place it below? It worked. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. So far. The clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. You can check the updated goals by pressing triangle. So there's two things. We need to learn more about the victim and learn more about the killer. That kind of makes sense. Uh, so victim, we need to talk to somebody about the victim. And killer, we have to find evidence. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Who do we talk to? Who do we talk to? It's very Sherlock Holmesy, right, Trash? Hi, by the way. Welcome in. It's very, very uh, Sherlock Holmesy. I I feel like with the first Alan Wake game, it wasn't as like investigative in this regard. It's much more like just like go from point A to point B and progress the quest. Whereas this one has a lot more gameplay, if that makes sense, right out of the gates, more, like you said, Sherlock Holmesy investigative. That's what you're saying too? <laughs> Don't call Ghostbusters for this. Hi, Dina, thank you for the 16. How are you doing? We do have an emote for that. That's true. We do have an emote for that. There is another thing we can investigate right here. What's multiple this? Multiple people were here. Okay, multiple, multiple cultists. Killers. Multiple killers. Got it. Uh, we can investigate Large this. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. You don't say. So go back into the mine palace. Case board. Heavy blood splatter on the table. That is not really, that's something that's consistent. Multiple sets of footprints, I don't know. Do I, can I put this? Uh, Killers? No, victim. What about this for killers? Does this make sense? It does. Perfect. Lots of activity here. It's unlikely our killer was working alone. Hmm. And I can't place the blood one down, though. I can't, like, attach that to something. So maybe we're not ready yet for that. Right? Just double checking. That's it. It worked. <laughs> Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Multiple assailants present. Messy scene. Crime of passion or premeditated. Did they plan for the murder to happen here? I think so. It looks pretty premeditated. Anything else? Wait, wait, what's all this over here? A little bit of a party going on? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. DNA evidence, maybe? Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. I mean, why is there a tripod? Are they filming this? Was it for a camera? Yeah, that's that's all we have there. Is there anything else around here that we can take a look at? I don't think so. But can I then do I so I, I think it's kind of like a back and forth of like using this stuff. Oh, for later. Oh, that's really nice that it says that. A lot of games they give you all these clues, kind of like Sherlock Holmes, and they don't tell you like you're not ready for this yet. This is a really nice feature in a game like this. Good call. 
You would think you get DNA from the uh, the beer bottles, right? That seems logical to me. Excited to watch? I appreciate it, Dina. It's, it's, I'm really, really pumped for this game. Already good for, like, already. Like, in the first five minutes here. It's definitely a cult. There, 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 this has to be a cult killing, right? Has to be. Let's talk to Thornton over here. Have you identified the victim? Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. Oh. His name is Nightingale. Well, he was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. No way. Until now. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale. Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. No way. Oh, and sisters. Those can be discovered by speaking to people as well as examining your surroundings. Wow, what a twist. Nightingale was one of the kind of the, the main antagonists in the first game, always giving Alan Wake a hard time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thornton, victim is Robert Nightingale, last seen in Bright Falls 13 years ago. No one's heard from this guy in 13 years. Why surface now? Where has he been? We're not ready for anything else. Let's talk to Casey about this. You knew the victim? So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened after he got fired? So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Sadly not. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. So for those, again, who don't know, 2010 was the release date of the original Alan Wake game. For now, it Let's go in here. Nightingale went off the deep end. Yep. He got fired. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Victim ID'd Robert Nightingale, former FBI agent, mental state questionable at the time of disappearance. He was an alcoholic in the first game, too. Tripod found near body. Uh, victim? I don't know where to put this, actually. Uh, killers? They filmed their stuff, maybe? Wait, did that work? Oh, wait, hold on. Premeditator is spontaneous. It's definitely premeditated if there's a tripod, right? Looks new. Brought by the killers. Why? To mount a camera? Weird snuff film? Cooler and beer bottles? <sighs> Um, well, they came prepared. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? The victim came from where? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Oh, cool. Piece it together. This is also very Mind Hunters, which is a fantastic TV show that got canceled after two seasons for whatever reason on Netflix. One of my favorite TV shows of all time. Hi, Xperia. Welcome in. How you doing? You would think there'd be fingerprints on the tripod too, right? You think there's all this evidence just lying around? Whoa, whoa, zombies. Thank you for the three months. Appreciate it. Thank you. It's great. We're only 10 minutes in. We're at the very beginning of this game still. We're barely even scratched the surface here. Hey, Ugg. Welcome on in. Faye, good to see you as well. Welcome in, everybody. You can use profiling inside Saga's Mind Palace. Sorry, Mind Place to get inside the heads of suspects and victims. Let's try that. Using her intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. So Nightingale, missing person. Been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. He 
are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Who's he? Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Okay, let's try ritual murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Like the switch, it goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. How would you know that? She's just really good at her job. Okay, the victim came from the lake. We know this. I can feel that Nightingale came from the lake, but why now? After 13 years, where's he been? It's a little bit stretch, right? How would you know some of those things? These voices are nightmare inducing. The voices are really good for the cultists. They did a really good job. Imagine that she's the baddie the whole time. Maybe she's got some superpowers we don't know about. You're right, right? The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, hey. let's take a look down by the lake. Where's the lake? Is it lead this way? way? Sounds good. Okay, hold on. You lead the way. Right. Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. You do you, Thornton. We're going this way. We need. We have things to check out over here. This one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. It's totally a hunch, right? They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly nude. <laughs> the killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. Ooh. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The bookers? The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? That's a good point. I haven't figured that part out yet. It looks pretty mm -hmm. cold. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Oh yeah, it's a monster tree. Creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. Oh, are we going through this thing? Oh, yes, please. What's this? There's a piece of paper on the ground. Do we do we want to look at it? How do I how do I look? I can kind of read it, but it's not really legible. Truck this barefoot. So he did come from here. They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. This almost kind of looks like a report that's been redacted, like a statement almost. I don't know why I can't read that. Oh, there we go. A page full of text on one side, not a printout, written with a typewriter, old school. Typewriter? Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm, like a manuscript. Mm-hmm. Page of a story. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. What? The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, words. the words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. The little, like, achievement notification that's built into the game is so out of place. It's so wonky. It's like a nice little bright, like, Candy Crush sound effect that plays. So ridiculous. 
Welcome back, Drake. The little, like, the little chirp sound, whatever that is. That's what that is. It's part of the game. It's like an in-game achievement for some reason. When the FBI joins a cult, you should be scared. You're probably on the wrong side of things, right? <laughs> hey, Big Mac, welcome in, by the way. Good to see you. Uh, if you're stuck or unsure how to proceed, don't forget to check the mine place. So we got a glimpse of Alan there. I I love how where this is going already that, you know, this kind of, again, ties back into the first one a little bit in terms of like, you know, the things that you write or the things that you you pick up and you read are a story that somebody's kind of already written. It's, it's, it's a really big mind trip. And I really hope they kind of go down that same path in this game. Let's check this out again. What do we got? We got footprints emerging from under the rock. That's part of the victim, right? He came from the lake. He walked through a boulder. Doesn't make sense. Maybe it wasn't during like this moment that we're both in. Maybe it's in a different timeline or something. The trail's gone cold. Um, I have no idea. Is that this? I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Too many unknowns. Doesn't make sense. Asking the wrong questions. Reading the words, these words felt like a message. Someone playing a game with them. Now, where can I use this? Where can I now? Oh, over here? Is there anything else here? Well, we did find this page, right? <clears throat> so the killer's watching us. Game on. And then where do we go from here? Do we go around the boulder, I guess? What do we have here? We're in Witch's Ladle. A witch with no heart. A witch with Strange no heart. Echo of owl murder. Hmm. Very interesting. This is Witch's Ladle. There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape. And yet there are many mysterious stories about the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld. Or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff were, went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. That's the giant tree we were in. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. Oh, I like that. And hold on. Is this like a little like face cutout that we can like get photos with our family and stuff like that as our heart? It's so weird. So weird. <laughs> There's really a chalice like that God lives in. Wait, in, in real life actually? Wait, we use got we use got what? And they died horribly. Cue upbeat sounds. I know, right? The weird like um little achievement sound. All right. Well, I guess we have to continue down the lake here. Let's keep it going. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Wait, we're gonna go by ourselves? After we just found a dead FBI agent, we're gonna go by ourselves and investigate. Do I walk through Can't the lake? Go any further. No, no, that'd be Water's silly. Too deep. What are we looking for? Okay, I can't go up here. Hold on. Maybe I go up and around? I feel like I'm backtracking now. Didn't we go through here? Did you get lost? Yeah, we, we totally did. Now, hold on. I could go up this way. I did see this earlier. Let's try going up here. Hold on. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Okay, this feels right. I like this. Wait, what's this? The witch's hut? The witch's hut. Here lived the witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. As like the window opens behind. Do I have a flashlight at all? No. Well, it doesn't seem like that scary of a little hut, right? Just, you know, a casual goat, uh, goat skull and stuff. Some books. This place isn't so bad. I can't investigate anything here, so what's the point? Um, can we go behind it? I don't think there's anything back there. Nope, moving on.
is I'm just trying to figure out where to go here. Wait, is this where he came from? I feel like wait, 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 wait what's this? Oh, we got items, we got gear. Um, how do I, I have no idea how to access that stuff. Hold on, um, I'm gonna press a whole bunch. Oh, we have a little flashlight. I still have to figure out all the controls and stuff here. Welcome back, Silver. I mean, I wouldn't want to get wet either. I don't like swimming, not a fan. How far can we go in this? We can kind of get a, no, we can't get around, unfortunately. Oh, back up we go. Back up we go. I think I did see another path to the left here, though. What does the sign say? Yeah, which is head is that way. Then where's... Is that where we came from? It just kind of... Hold on. We have a map. What am I thinking? We do have a map. Uh, do we have a destination? Our goal right now is to figure out what happened to Nightingale. Very, very generic. Um... Murder site, general store, there's which is ladle, which sign. There's a camping site over here. I think I need to go this way. I need to go straight and then to the right. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. So menacing. I think I saw something. Okay, hold on. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait. Yes, yeah, it's, it's okay, so it's behind the witch's hut. Oh, okay. It's is it down here? Is it behind this? I'm not crazy, right? You guys are seeing the same thing that I am. There's a, a camping site I think I can get to. That's not this, right? Oh, it is. Oh, this is the camping site. Friday, Midge told me today that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't t even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright effing falls? Oh my, doesn't he's not a fan. Sunday, I so I told her. She said thanks. Effing kill me. Monday, I snuck out last night again. Went to the big house by the lake. Instead of just watching it from here, like I always do. Instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm going to find out what. Going to go back to there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. Whose journal is this? Okay, more gear. I have no idea how to access this gear, but we'll eventually find out, right? Is that it? That's not really a clue, though, is it? Is that a wait? Wait, what's this? Kids' lunchbox. That's bizarre. Cold case. An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey I... hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Oh, poor Casey. I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. Alan, who? I wonder. We got a manuscript fragment. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this skills? A weapon upgrade? Whoa, whoa, hold on. How do I... I missed the note. It popped up for a second. Profiling. I don't know what this is. What is this? This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst mom. Oh my god, I like that. The map, yes. The case. Do we have something more for the case board? Alex Casey lunch boxes. Hold on. Points of interest cases track objects and information that Saga has acquired to chart collection progress. Is this like a side quest? Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Hmm. Lunchbox found near the witch's hut at Cauldron Lake. <laughs> no, goes for this, right? Does it not go for... Hold on, zoom out a little bit. 
Now, this goes for Cauldron Lake area up here. The note inside mentions Alan. Alan Wake? What the hell are these? It totally is a side quest, I think. Has to be. Welcome back, Jerry. Doesn't uh, say that she's the best, but she sure ain't the worst. The, oh, the, the mug is ridiculous. That's what I'm wondering, Commander. Is everybody maybe written? We'll never know. Is Sunday so relatable? No. Okay, so I think we have a little bit of a side quest kind of thing going on here, too. Oh, there's a lot to this game that I wasn't really expecting. I was expecting much more of a, just a straight up linear story, but this is actually kind of cool. Um, the murder site is circled. Yes. What What is our goal right now? Figure what happened to Nightingale. Well, we're, we're trying. Maybe we should go back to Casey. I feel like we've kind of done everything that we can do. Well, he's right here. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. Okay, am I going to follow you now? He's going to talk. We're not, we're not, we're not going to talk at all. It's going to be silence. That's fine. I don't mind. I wonder what the icon in the bottom left corner is. I'm looking at it. The yellow icon. Is this like a destination like where we have to go next? Hey, you made it back. Hello, Good. Thornton. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. And now what? Wait, are we done? I don't think we've been this way yet. This is, yeah, the picnic area. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. Locked. Oh, we they need really a key. don't want people coming in here. Okay, we'll have to come back. We have a goal. I see another gate. Why are there gates randomly in the woods? I don't know what they're blocking off. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Hello. Nice talking to you, too. Oh, they hang up on us? How dare they? The audacity. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll have to find a different way around. Okay, that's where it came from. We have not been here yet, though. What is all this? What is all this? Look at this! Creepy twig sculpture. Ooh. Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Confused? Follow the steps. Wash your hands. Take the chicken out of the fridge. Take a nap. Okay, so there's going to be three numbers. I see a lock down here. Oh, there's symbols. Oh. Okay, we'll come back to this. Hands. Chicken and fridge. Take a nap. There's going to be probably three symbols inside the house that we need to get. Hands, chicken, nap. Exactly. Hands, chicken, nap. Yeah, the gates are better than the random vending machines from Don't Scream. That was so random, man. Yeah, super friendly locals, right? Yeah, watch Thornton be the bad. Everybody's, everybody's sus in this game. Okay, let's go inside and see if we can find some clues. Can I use my flashlight? I'd really like to... Oh, there we go. Circle for flashlight. Hey, look. Okay, so what was the first one? I already forgot. Hands. Bathroom, right? Where's the bathroom? Okay, so we have interlocking triangles. And then chicken in the fridge. Uh, so hold on, this is like a up, up and down. So vertical triangles. Diag so diagonal, then vertical, and then nap. Okay, I think I can memorize that. Hold on. Let's go back here for a second. 
So we have diagonal, vertical, and then it was opposing like this, right? Am I, am I off? Was it a different diagonal? There it is. It was that one, right? Am I, am I wrong? Opposing left to right? Oh, like... Like this? Yeah, there we go. Secret stashes. Okay, I think we got ammo and what's... I have no idea what this stuff is. Stash found under Cauldron Lake. Hold on. I think I can press this. Yeah, here we go. I got a trauma pad, so it's a bandage. Batteries, painkillers, ammo, and then of course my weapon. Cool. So what else we have in here? Hey Casey, what's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Oh no. Just one case without the A triangle. Oh boo. Yes, hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Oh, please don't move. It's kind of weird to pet it, not gonna lie. I wouldn't. I don't know if there's anything else in this little house. That's probably the only reason, right? There's one thing. What's this? Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. But what if it's not true? What if it's something else? Something less natural and much more man-made. Intentional. I say the lake's not formed, it's designed, and it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake, preparing. I know it. The first drawing is a water line. Real caldera is made from a volcano. Lava. Second drawing, water line, engineered structure, strange machines. What am I reading? What is this? Oh, wait. Oh, that's what these drawings are. I see. Sure. This guy might be nuts. Just saying. Bunch of rambling. And then we haven't gone down here yet, right? I'm loving this environment. It's a very, very pretty game so far. You know, minus the corpses and stuff like that. Can I not use my flashlight? Like, it doesn't work outside? Interesting. Have we... Have we been here? It's like makeshift campsite? No, we haven't, have we? UFOs. The ultimate guide to spotting unidentified flying objects. Very cool. Writing this down in case it happens again and I forget. I got that feeling again. It hit me suddenly at 1.15 a.m. after I finished my ama on the porch of the trailer. I got in the car and drove, chasing it. Starry night, not much moon. As expected, it led me past Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. I tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought, the combination to have it all aligned to make it happen. Terrified it would. It didn't. Not this time. Frustrated but relieved, I scanned the night for the shapes, the objects. Nothing. But when I blink repeatedly, I think I saw the afterimage of an octahedron. It faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me. Here, but not here. It's him. I know it is. Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. I was right to come to Bright Falls. And another lunchbox. How do you like the knitting, hero? I had it made just for you. Grab another manuscript fragment. Well, I guess we haven't really done the mine place in a while. Hold on, let's take a quick look here for a second. We have this one. This is also Bright Falls area? Or is this part of Cauldron Lake area? It is, okay. The note inside mentions making knitting just for me. How do they know I knit? Or maybe just a coincidence? Nothing is a coincidence in this game. I guess that's it. Um, thoughts on where to go next, chat? Anybody? I have no idea. Hi, Amy. I'm getting flashbacks. Flashbacks? Sure. The Northside Slasher. 
But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. Okay. He's getting flashbacks from an old case. Wait, this is a dead end. Hold on. Can I get... Why, why can I come here? Why does it give me a path to a dead end? I... I have no idea. Unfortunate, I guess. Unless there's like a, a, a clue hidden around here somewhere. Hop back up. I have a thing I'd probably just go back to the, the crime scene, right? When in doubt. He was... He was stabbed like... Oh, 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 at the dead end? Is that what it was? Oh, that's why he got stabbed. He, he rounded the corner a little bit, right? Yeah, you guys are totally right. Absolutely, yep. None of this game makes sense to me, so I don't know. Go over yonder, just investigate everything. I think it's one of those games, too, that it, nothing really does make sense until the very end when you put all the pieces together. It's like watching a big, long, like, limited series, and it's like, oh, you get the kind of, like, light bulb moment near the end. Um, does it say where we are on the map currently? Okay, here. Uh, I feel like we need to go back to the murder site. Okay, the red areas are blocked off. The dead ends, right? And I feel like we've been everywhere else. As far as I'm aware. So I need to turn around and kind of just go keep to the right. I know that there is a hint system in this game, too. It did kind of prompt me for that, but I already forgot the button. Not that we need it anyway. We're pro gamers over here, right? And then stay to the right, I think. I think. Oh no, this is this is a bad call. I'm gonna get stuck somewhere and I have to reset. Oh, here we are. I knew it. Anything to report? Back, Anderson. The way you say that, nobody has anything to say to me. Why am I doing all the work? They're so lazy. Okay, so where, where where do we need to go then? We've been looking at the map. We've been to the buzzer. It was no answer. We've been to this campsite down here. We've been to that campsite, the witch's hut. We've been down to the water. Do I need to go all the way back up here and then back to the rental cabins or something? Like, do I need to get the seat? point of oh point of interest? Oh. Oh, I got to go all the way back, don't I? Okay. Can I put a marker down? I would like a little, like, guided path. Okay. Hey, Z, welcome. How you doing? Palm, good to see you as well. Defy, hello. Hello, everybody. Pop me. it in. You know where to find me. How you guys doing? Yeah, this is a very long game, by the way. It's, like, 12 hours long, so uh, get comfy. These are going to be long streams for the foreseeable future, because we got to beat this game this week. Ooh, I saw something here. Oh, wait. I, I think I can go up here. Is this where we want to go? Um. Wait a minute. Did I make a wrong? Oh, that's a shortcut. That's a shortcut. Back here. And then I need to make a left up here, I think. There should be a path. And then I want to go up here. Yes. I don't know what the POI is up here, though. Something around... Maybe up the hill? Oh, let's just double check so I don't walk by it. Okay, it's up ahead. Yeah, up ahead and on the right. Wait, is it just... It's just this. Don't tell me it's just this. Hold on. Oh, I have to like find a way through. Can I climb? No. I'm waiting for the time I get stuck. Okay, up here. Couple switchbacks, no big deal. This is where we came from at the beginning, actually. It's not the sign, right? Don't don't tell me it's the sign that's the mm, 
it is the sign that we already looked at this, but I don't think I clicked it earlier. That's the problem. I didn't click it. Yeah, yeah, I know. He went past it, right? It's just this. It's just this. But like we've already we've already looked at this. But why is it still okay? It's no longer. Oh my god. <laughs> hey Juan, welcome. How you doing? So do I go? Do I go all the way up here to the rental cabins? Maybe there's something I missed. There's a little like conversation. Oh, maybe we should go talk to the old cop again. I mean, it can't hurt. We've already committed. We've already gone this far. We might as well. Might as well check. What does FBI stand for, Orn? I don't know. Palm, you totally know. You totally know. I'm not falling for it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Signs. Great to hear, Juan. Right on. Right on. Where's that other cop? Was he that way or this way? I think he was this way. Oh, maybe not, actually. Hold on. We have a locked gate here. I need something to cut this. Okay, so we need bolt cutters or something. That's for more of like just making a shortcut so we can have like easy access coming back here. So far, a lot more running around than I was expecting. Not gonna lie. Let's talk to you again. Right? Is this conversation? No! Um, he doesn't realize I can hear everything. Shut up, Thornton. They can still hear you. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, that's awkward for everybody. Okay, so we can't talk to him for some reason. Is there anything else I can check out? The cars. I feel like I, I shouldn't have to go all the way back to progress the game, you know? I feel like I'm in the wrong area. Does anybody actually have an idea? Can I go through here? Oh, wait. Oh, I can go around. Remember that locked... Wait, that, that was the buzzer. And that's a locked door. But we haven't gone down this path to the right. Let's, let's go down here and then to the right. Let's see if that gets us anywhere. This is the Cauldron Lake Trails. Was oh, this locked too? The Federal Bureau of Control. That's a new one. It's also locked. Of Toxic course it is. Volcanic gas, huh? The FBC is an obscure branch. It only shows up for unusual cases. Well, what's so unusual about volcanic gas? Beats me. Hmm. What's all this here? What's all this? Salmon. Hi. I think of the twenty. I'm a Thor when I don't get enough sleep. I think we could all relate to that a little bit, right? Yeah, he's overhearing the conversation. That's what's funny about it. Maybe this game is 12 hours because 10 hours is walking around the environment. <laughs> I think you might be onto something. Yeah, a mini bike, an ATV, that would be nice right about now. The rarest wildlife in the Pacific Northwest. I finally made my way to Cauldron Lake. The fence was easy to climb over with the proper gear and skills, which I thankfully possess. Next goal, spotting the rare and elusive orange crowned warbler. A little late in the season, but hopefully I can catch it before it begins its journey south. I know it's intriguing behavior in the surrounding common bard life. They seem to be alarmed and swarm around the lake. No birds of prey nearby. There are some strange sounds carried on the wind, however. Nothing I can recognize or explain. Getting a little concerned, I might have to find another spot somewhere safer. The sounds are getting closer. Moved inland. Foliage is stunning. Must come back and fall. I had to stop and sketch this gorgeous vine maple. Just at the way the Methuselah's beard hangs off it. This is why trees are better than people. Speaking of people, saw some drunk guy staggering around the forest earlier. Acting weird. Maybe drugs? Kept my distance. Should probably find another spot. So annoying. After I saw that weirdo guy, I decided to change spots again. Moved up the mountain a bit. Found a fantastic overlook to camp at, but I'm more interested in this Alaska onion grass. Invasive, but edible and surprisingly tasty. Started hearing wolves or wild dogs or something like 10 minutes ago, but they sound wrong. Rabies? 
want to leave, but the sun is going down. My stupid phone is dead. I'm going to hide in the tent and hope they go away. Something is really not right about this place. They're totally talking about the cultists finding Nightingale, right? Has to. And we're not going to mark that down as evidence. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Caldera is a pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. Yeah. You got it. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Okay, we don't go that way. Science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. Huh. Okay, chat, we gotta go all the way back, I think. Well, he took us on a little bit of a detour. It was fun while it lasted, but I, I feel like we have to go back to the actual crime scene. I don't know what we missed. I, I must have missed a key piece of evidence or I need to do something in the mind palace, but I don't think we have any notes. I have, I have literally nothing on me. Manuscript pages. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale gone missing here 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the page. This page, the first page that they had found, not the last. The first step down into terrifying depths, secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words, these words, felt like a message. Was a message. Someone knew they were here, what they were doing. Someone playing a game with them, leading them on. An invitation. How could they not accept? The sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them. Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Okay, so I feel like these manuscript pages are like a little synopsis of, of where we're at. That's cool. Um, is there anything else I need to do? Do I continue profiling Nightingale? The page. We found the page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. He must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. Oh. I must find out what. We gotta go digging. We gotta go digging. Okay. We know what to do. Not the giggity big Mac. <laughs> I have no idea what the yellow symbol means. I think that means I need to go into my mind palace, mind place. I keep wanting to say mind palace, mind place, and then put clues together. I think that's what that means because it's gone now, right? Oh, that's smart, Vortex. 91, that's absolutely insane. Holy crap. Is your inner voice a demon? That's not my voice. That was Nightingale. And it seems that Nightingale might have been taken over by these, you know, the same voices that control the cultists, maybe? Maybe it was all tied together. Maybe it wasn't so much as a victim, but maybe, you know, played a part more than anything. That's just a hunch, though. I'm probably way off base. Well, it's a little bit of a stroll, but we know exactly where to go, which is nice. Right? You know where to go? Still down here? A phone booth? What is that doing here? Oh, let's just let's double check that I'm going the right way. Yeah, yeah, we're going the right way. I thought so. Oh, it matched the... Oh, good to know, Commander. Okay, good for the confirmation. So it does mean the mine place. Gotcha. So when, when I'm lost or stuck, just... Just check for the uh, the mine place if I have that symbol pop up. Um, um, here I knew it. Okay, uh, so is there something inside of this guy? Maybe we. Still in one piece yeah, yeah, Casey. Forest can be a dangerous place. Wait, can I now dig around in him somehow? Hmm, I guess not. Can we? Do we guys? Do you guys want to talk? Nobody wants to talk to me. Um, well, there goes that theory. 
case board. Oh, here we go. Cases. Uh, Cauldron Lake. Mango has something inside of him. We need to place this with the victim. No, I'm wrong. Um, at the very end, anything else here? Oh, there's one more piece of evidence. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Perfect. Learn all I can here. Need to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Now what? Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Deerfest? No problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. There's the key. Thank you. Shortcut key. I feel like I added another 20 minutes to this game by wandering around. So that's on me. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses. The bookers. The bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. It's literally right here. How convenient. Why didn't he want to give that to me like an hour ago? Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. What's this? They see much stuff this gruesome. This is just like a little like power box area. Oh, hold on. There's there's stuff in things. Hold on. Is it a lunchbox? Maybe a lunchbox again. Yeah, there we go. Who's leaving these out here? We're all in this together, hero. Have a heroic day. Another fragment. So I don't know if anybody caught it earlier. They said the name of the sheriff we're going to go see is Sheriff Breaker, which is the same name as the sheriff from the first game. I forget what her name was. Um, Her first name was. But her name was uh, Sheriff Breaker that helped Alan wake in the first game. We'll see if it's the same sheriff or not. I think we should head north, Leon. Good call. It's lunchbox time. I like I like I love collectibles. Um, hold on. I didn't pick, or was that for the the box app from afar? Uh, that was Can't just for the box, the I think. All together yet? Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod. For a camera? <laughs> Come on, Casey, keep up. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Um, and from here, do we keep going up the mountain? To the left? I need to turn around completely. This way. Oh, does he want to keep talking? There we go. Let's Here go for are. a drive. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but... I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. You guys see this in the middle of the Can screen? You swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Town looks nice. Look at this guy right here. He's just hanging just out. Up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Mmm, delicious coffee. 
It's their mascots for what? Can you shoot them? Yeah, I don't know what Casey was actually doing this whole time. I feel like he's just going to tell, you know, he's in the, on the class assignment and then he's going to show up on like the last day for our project and he's going to take credit for doing absolutely nothing. Oh, totally get that Mars. Yeah, I feel like there's like a, there's like a jump icon to climb up and then there's another one for the lunchbox. I think that's what we're seeing. Um, so there's deer fest, whatever that is. 81st deer fest. Uh, should I go inside? Interview the witness at the diner. Okay, where's the diner? Is that this place? That looks like garage over there. I guess I could use my map, right? Oh, hold on. It's different. Oh, undiscovered map. Okay. Well, hopefully this is the diner. Uh, it's a lodge. Is the diner inside the lodge? I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Ooh. Got it. Just busted through that door. So sleepy. Hey, how look at this doing? guy. He's just having a good old time by himself, right? This is a vibe. Is wait, is this the diner? There's not even any music. He's making his own music. He has the moves and then some. Hey, Lefty, how you doing? It's, it's really cool so far. It's very, very different very very different but looks fantastic this is just a bar i think like a little like kitchen lodge lodge kitchen i don't know i don't think we're supposed to be here i'm trying to find the diner but we have no map so i guess i'm just going to walk around past these mascots maybe maybe they want to talk to us can we interrogate what, what does it say oh dear have you had today charlie <laughs> Oh, they're coffee Don't mascots. <laughs> the weirdest thing we're ever gonna see. That's how much. Never enough coffee. Oh dear, oh, diner. Okay, there's there's the diner right there. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn oh. sure my youth. <laughs> I mean, you. Rick Grimes, is that you? Let me guess. The FBI. Oh no, it's just Tim. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Thank you, oh, Tim. Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. This is I'm Sheriff Agent Breaker. Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputy said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. Ooh, I'll see what they have to pie. say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. All right. Do we also get pie? I can't believe that happened. Are you still the bookers? Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, OK? So what did you see in the woods? This. Naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. Well, actually ran into them. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They, they were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. That's true, they were. Cult of the tree. Uh, oh, and then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Did, did, 
she just like shush him they don't say something what were you doing at Colgen late last night i'm a writer true crime we're here from new york doing some research on a famous novelist alan wake who went missing here i was down at the lake getting some details perfectly legal i just realized i have my flashlight it's still up my bad okay let's go back into mind palace i think we have a new profile i think i saw over here, right? Hey, Foxy, how you doing? Welcome in. And she's just going to walk around holding that. I know I didn't realize I had the flashlight like up and like shining right in their face in the like midday. My bad. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Trying to flash it in their eyes and scream. Answer the questions. Just go full and FBI on them. The bookers. Let's do a little profile here. The Cult of the Tree. The Cult of the Tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? They were hiding something. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Oh, they Tammy took something. something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. Oh. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? Once was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with the murder. They were telling the truth. For now. Okay. Little sus though. Taking key evidence from the crime scene. Uh, okay, let's do the lunchbox one real quick. Where is it? Here? Oh, where's the... Where's the thing? The lunchbox up here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is that part of the Cauldron Lake? I think it was. And then the other case is our main case, Cauldron Lake Murders. The bookers describe multiple attackers wearing deer masks, chanting and tearing into the guy with knives. Uh, that would be down to killer profile, right? Not a serial killer. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Yeah, it's a cult. It's totally a cult. The cult of the tree. Look at this. We have a whole new case. Background cases accumulate clues about broader ongoing topics. The cult of the tree. I need to know more about the cult of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Okay, so it's like learning like the background, the lore. Ooh, hold on, what's this? Cult is wearing deer masks? Uh, cult gold, that doesn't really make sense, right? What kind of cult? And then over here we have who's involved. Uh, maybe what kind of cult? Cult psychology. If they are, if they're hiding their faces, they aren't established enough to op operate openly. Connection to Deerfest. Yeah, maybe. I didn't even think about that. Deerfest is currently going on right now. Yeah, the cult. Hey, DJ, welcome in. How you doing? Thank you for the welcome back message. Appreciate that. Hope you're doing well over there. We have triangle figures made from twigs. Um, More of the psychology? I don't know. Where does this one go? Cult symbols. What's the purpose? Marking territory? A warning? Feels derivative, like something out of a horror movie. And then lastly, we have cult stashes. This is from. There's another deer mask These there too. These could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Sure. Okay, I think we've got everything we have, right? Nope. Just kidding. Stash found near cauldron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that was uh, up here. Okay. A locked box of cult supplies. Some useful things. So that's why I, I took all that loot earlier. I think that's it. I think you found something. Oh, we're just going to like straight up interrogate them. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Didn't even deny it. I told you not to keep that thing, Timmy. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. 
Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Beth. Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I want to try something. Hold on. There's a, there's a setting called film grain. I wonder if that's what's making all the, the background all kind of weird. You guys see that too? That in the background? I thought we'd... Oh, and it got worse. <laughs> it got so much worse. Hold on. Turn it back on, I guess. I don't know. It's a weird thing that they have in the background. Is it motion blur? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's it's intentional. All the settings are on high and ultra settings. So I don't really know why this is like particle thing going on in the background. Abby, take care. Thanks for popping in tonight. Is it anti-aliasing? I don't know what it is. Like, is I don't really know enough about the terminology of what it is or not, but like everything's on pretty high settings overall. So I have no idea. Turn off DLSS. Uh, where do I do that? Frame this, the frame generation or the upscaling this stuff. Would that, would you think that'll fix it? Let's try it. Never see you back here. That didn't change anything. Oops, graphics. I'll leave it back on. Oh, it's this? Should I do the... This one? Oh, that's so much better, I think. I think we fixed it. Yes, I think we fixed it! Let's try it. Hold on, let's see. After that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? Just no idea. I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. Who's Rose? You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. Wait, what? That's so weird. We talked to her on the way here. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. That was weird, right? Hi. Go to the sheriff's station. Got it. Good call on the um the frame generation though. Yeah, there's still something there. But at least it looks a lot better than first I don't know. I thought it was part of like part of the game. Like it was intentionally looking trying to look like a TV or something. I don't know, but it was it looks way better now. Thank you. Yeah, maybe somebody was rewriting. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, she was oddly happy. She was like smiling while she was saying that. And that's kind of not a normal thing to be smiling about in conversation, right? I think it was upscaling interesting do you think it's mostly fixed now for the most part render resolution i feel like it's, it's i think i always play in this resolution so i'm gonna leave it as is because i don't want to break something knowing me i will but well, it looks pretty good i'm happy with this now let's go to the sheriff station now all set my guys have nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look Ooh. let's go sure yeah well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not going to find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, <laughs> are we? The big plot twist. I played some D&D &D back in the day. The wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. <laughs> Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. He's way too happy. Small town vibes, I guess. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. That is a weird Rose thing. Has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible, but 
Best not to take it personally. Maybe she's like predicting the future or something. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Be around. Look! Look at the look at the particles here. Like, well, how do I how do I get rid of this particle effect that we have going on the glass? Is that a reflections issue? Hold on, hold on. I, I do want to fix this. If I can be playing this game for like ten hours, sorry if it's annoying to look at, but is there a reflection setting? Ray tracing preset, direct lighting. I have no idea. It, that's what I think. Is it ray tracing? Maybe. I don't know what these, there's so many different options down here. Path, trace, indirect, lighting, denoising, quality. Do I want that on medium? I have no idea. Is it scattered object? Controls the density of number of small objects like bushes, grass, litter, scattered paper, and faraway trees. So not glass. I have a feeling it's like a lighting thing. I'm looking at Mars. I'm like, mm, Mars, help. It might be this one, the denoise. I know, right? Direct lighting denoising quality. Direct lighting. Let's try high. That did not. That ooh, that did not. This is this is fun to figure out, right? Though, let's go back to low. Maybe this one. I know, right? I'm always so scared of like messing something up. I know there's way too many options. It can be like a low, medium, high, and ultra setting, and then I'm happy overall. I guess it's nice to have these options, but like I don't understand them. Let's try medium. I don't know if that got better or not. Honestly. Let's try high. Not really. Ugh. Okay, so not, not this one either. Go back to low, I guess. Transparency is on high. Um, Low? Or let's see off. Hey, that looks better. Yes. Reflect. Yes. Good call. We did it. We did it. Choose high like your height. I'm very medium height. Is there a 511 option? Okay. I think I think we're happy. Oh, this looks so much better overall. I think we're we're in a good place now going forward. Holy crap, though, right? There is a is it film green? No, no. I'm looking at dust on my actual monitor. Thank you guys for the help. Oni, thank you for the lurk, by the way. Appreciate that. Go enjoy your evening. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate it. Okay, now we can finally actually play the game and hopefully no more options issues. Why would that be on by default? It looked terrible. Okay, I think they went this way. Yeah, they're there. There should uh there should be as you have film I do have film green turn on, but I don't really like it looks fine now, right? Overall? But yes. Oh good, Jerry. Get some proper rest if you can. Oh, you okay over there? Oh, you had leg day. I'm sorry to hear that. You know what, though? You did something that I didn't do, which is leg day and even working out. It's so good on you, man. I guess. So we continue. share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. But she's qualified to do that? Interesting. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. Okay, I Casey. I feel the same. He's joking. The sarcasm is real with Casey. Uh, which which room is it? Okay, I'll, I'll just follow you, Casey. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. Oh, here we are. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Wait, do I have to do it? What was the cause of death? Oh. What other clues can the body give me? Okay, well, let's let's start with the obvious, the chest wound, right? Huh. They did leave something inside his chest. What was it? You didn't even explain what it was. Let's check the wrist. Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. This guy's very bloated. This looks like text. Like what text? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. No, definitely not. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. 
It doesn't add up. There's writing on here. Wait, did they tattoo the heart? Make it out. Writing. How'd they manage that? Okay, back to the case board. We have a lot to go over now. Okay, back at the murder. Examination of R. Nightingale. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Here we go. Okay, so select this, bring this over here. Ritual writing. Did the killers write this on the heart? How? I can't make out what it says. Imagine tattooing the heart itself. That, that's quite the challenge and the skill and the talent. Internal examination, apparently. Yeah, is, is there an FBI training for like, you know, being a coroner? That's some, that's some, that's a lot to, uh, to undertake on top of your FBI studies, right? Alan Wake wrote on his heart. Did he? We don't know. I wish I could read what it says, actually. <clears throat> um, back over here, I guess. Cause of death. Bloating of joints indicates long-term water exposure. Victim was alive when strapped down. Timeline is inconsistent with bloating. Nope. Uh, what, hold on, what is this? Smudge text under the victim's skin. Uh, ritual writing? Yes. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. The heart could not have been marked before it was removed? Tattoos and body, eye, and heart. How did killers have time? Doesn't make sense. Bruises, defensive victims. <sighs> so, cause of death? Looks like Nightingale put up a fight before they restrained him. And lastly, this one here, the heart. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? The chest trauma is clear cause of death. The cause of bloating unknown, strange tattoos on skin and heart. Something was inserted into the chest cavity. Back to the cult of the tree. We have a cult necklace with a triangle symbol. Right, I forgot about this. Um, let's put, bring it up. Oh, wait, hold on. We gotta zoom out. Uh, who's involved? Cult symbols. Here we go. Julie can be used as a subtle indicator of membership, but this isn't subtle. A badge of pride. We're all done here, I think. Do I have to dig my hand in now? Ooh. Wait, is that a page? Wait, where's your gloves? Bare handing it? It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. He's been withholding them this whole time? What? Sheriff? What the hell? Show me the clicker. Thank you. 
Creepy. He's coming. No weapon. Uh oh. The page said to get into the light. Yep. Get into the light. Am I the only one here? Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. So does that mean he won't be able to see me here? I can hear him stomping around on the other side of the wall. Oh, there he is. He can't see me in the light. This is kind of cool. It's almost like a reverse of in a normal game where you have to hide in the shadows, right? Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Go. Okay, do I do I follow him? Is this a good idea? Um, where is the gun? It was like somewhere over there, right? I I don't know. Is he gonna come back? He's totally coming back this way. One of us. Come on. I'm gonna go. Wait, wait. Am I in the right? Oh, what's this? Well, my light's gone. Uh oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Oops. This is not how the story goes. My bad. I did it for science purposes. We just want to see how it happened. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's try that again. I'll skip this. Okay. Here's our first light here, right? Oh, where's my, my flashlight? She doesn't want to use the flashlight. Was the gun that I can't even see. It does say exit right there. So I'll wait till he goes in that room, and then I'm gonna duck into there. I think. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Okay, keep moving. Keep moving. Bye. See you later. Go. Gotta move now. Okay, is this is this our gun? It is perfect. Headshots do nothing. of chapter is this like a little intermission between chapters oh how cool is this very Netflixy vibes This is pretty cool, right? I missed the doo doo shot. Yeah, everybody. Didn't everybody kind of vanish? I wonder if they actually like, made this song for the game. It's a real bop. I really like this song, too. This is great. Okay, I'll skip it, though. I'll continue because we have, we, have, we have games to play, chat. Try not to come off on you guys. Okay, this is really cool. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Okay, time to look around. Was this the page that Saga um, was back at yeah. Cauldron Lake? Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. 
You can read your collected manuscript pages in the mind place. I, I'm already gonna have a bit of a guess on what where the game is going in direction. I won't say, because I don't want to just be totally wrong and be an idiot. But I have I have a I'm s speculating here. Um, before we go forward too, uh, did you guys hear um the bloated monster man? He was looking for something called a clicker. In the first Alan Wake. At the very end of the game, Alan is able to kind of defeat the the shadow monster forces and kind of trade places and go into like the shadow realm um, and save his wife by placing a clicker into the shadow person and, and clicking on like a light switch, essentially. And that's what kind of like transported him and trapped him in like a, this kind of shadow realm. Uh, but it freed his wife. I hear my mouth. Sorry. Yeah. Still there somewhere. But I think that's what he's looking for. This monster, which might be like the big bad kind of like hopping from like vessel to vessel. I'm kind of guessing. Maybe. I think it's a dog hair. I got a dog hair in my mouth. There it's gone. We got it though. We got it. Is it looking for infected from the last of us? You would think so. Maybe. Just maybe. The shadow room from Yu-Gi-Oh! When worlds collide. He was talking about a witch too. Yes, right? And also Hemingway. Like the the writer and stuff like that. So lots of lots of little like little messages, little things we're like supposed to pick up on, I think. We were attacked by a dead man. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Yeah, we have no leads right now. Okay, let's go back into the mind place. We have some we have some more clues to to kind of go off of here. Nightingale attacked us as a whole a new dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. And that's what I kind of like about these games too. There's like it kind of like borders the line of like supernatural and like logic a lot of the time. It makes you really kind of question things. Nightingale attacked us. A corpse attacked us. I used his sensitivity to light to fight him off, but he got away. I need to hunt him down and figure out what the f is going on here. Uh, so I was back. At, okay, this is the the this is the story stuff. Where do I put the story pages here? Um, would that be? Over oh, oh, way over here, maybe over here. Anything else? No. Maybe it's oh, whoa, 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 settle down. Maybe it's all about just down here. I'll just focus on this new section down here. I think. According to the page, it sounds like Nightingale went back to Cauldron Lake, and he's a taken. Nah. The overlap. What? These pages aren't making sense. And then back into Cauldron Lake murders. What do we have? Case closed. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. Oh. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. Not a lone killer, but an organized group, the Cult of the Tree. This case got much more interesting. I should open a new file and start fresh. So this this one that we're working on right now, the Cauldron Lake Murders, is now currently like closed. We're done investigating that. We're now moving on to the cult section of things. The Cult of the Tree is performing rituals to create monsters. So let's do... Is that their goal? It is. Victim's body and organs. Page found inside the chest. Cult ritual, what is it? 
is writing part of the ritual. Next, the text tattooed on the victim's manuscript page found inside. Writing has some significance here. It's been a kind of a common theme. Oh, sorry, I didn't read this. What is this? Nightingale has was the only victim to become a monster that we know of. Uh, who's involved? No. Nightingale only be, uh, victim to become a monster. Yes. Victim of cult killing became a monster. Same thing. Wait, can I not place this here? Really? Um. Who's involved? Where do I put this one? Not part of the writing, right? Doesn't look right. No. Is there anything else up here? Well, psychology. Cult symbols. Psychology? No, it doesn't make sense. Cult goal? Huh. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. I need to dig into this. There must be an explanation. Their goal might be to make more monsters. Um, symbols, symbols, symbols. We saw this here. So the same symbol in the jewelry that we saw on the tree made of twigs as well. Our current goal is to figure out where Nightingale went. Jeez, there's so much to this game chat, right? Ridiculous. Oh, totally get that, Commander. Hiding the from spoilers, totally get that. No wonder this game takes longer than 12 hours. You'll be a professional FBI agent after you're done with this game. I know it's ridiculous. Hey, Rudra, yeah, we're, we're, on, we're on Twitch and YouTube, actually. How you doing? But uh, I guess we go back to Cauldron Lake. Let's go back. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Okay, so how do we get back there? We need to leave. I wonder, should I? I think I missed something in here earlier, right? I didn't go in this room. Well, can I go in here now? Hold on. Must be locked from the other side. Hmm. Okay, never mind. So much for that. There was that one, like, loot box in there, which I think was just an item. We, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. They don't really seem to be too shocked, all in all. Interesting reaction from these two. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. And we need to get to this lake ASAP. They're a fine pair. Uh, do I want to look around a little bit? Adventure all tours? Dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. <laughs> You've only had a tour guide, also. Bear season. I'm sorry, what is this? Oh no, a bear. This is trading. <laughs> yeah, did they not see the body by the door? Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh wow. Coscola Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best copy roaster slash tour guide by Copy World Magazine. And I'm here. I'm to sold. Give you <laughs> for a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yako. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. I think they went and, and recorded this for the game. At Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, but the government. <laughs> We have both cutters. <laughs> oh, oh, you think of everything and we'll take you anywhere. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. So is this like a big giant hint saying find bolt cutters to get, get through the woods? Of Bright Falls Dam. The, f the bear Bird finger too, right? Majestic Mirror Peak. Oh yeah, small town vibes. <laughs> a tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermos. That was probably the best thing we could have ever witnessed. Incredible. Totally worth the, the minute and a half watching that. Hello? Don't mind me. 
Okay, let's get out of here. I think we're done here. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Wait, where's he going? Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. This this stream in particular looks like somewhere I've been. It actually looks like two different places I can recall from memory. This this is kind of like a small town where I live. This is ridiculous. It looks so similar. Oh man. The Pacific Northwest. Oh, that wasn't our car back there, right? Our car is all the way over here. Yeah, this is our car. I was trying to get in the wrong car. Okay, get in here. Cauldron Lake. repeat. Clock out, get a beer. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. Oh, spill the beans. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Yeah, right? Wait, is it like nighttime? Return to the heart. Uh-oh. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. Also, it's really pretty. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. You guys don't think the tree cult is trying to bring Alan Wake back, right? Look at this view. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? That's a good point. In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Hey, who are these guys? Maintenance workers? We don't want to question them? Hey, hello there. Oh my god, the guys in the commercial! Doing? Those restricted area signs. Hello. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskelov. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? 
How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. It's always on the coffee. Sauna, sauna ya vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan piirakka. Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. Here we're, well, we're done. I need to get back to it. Thanks for the chat. Man, there's so much dialogue in this game, right? You say, "Oh dear." Uh, nothing. Just something that shouldn't be. We found whose bike that was. Wait, whose bike is it? Did I miss a bike? Hey, Nico, welcome on in. We, we oh, was there a bike up 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 there? I didn't see it. I totally missed it. How Let's big are forest raccoons? Side, A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, does it? I don't it? get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm, he was about to give you more of those pages. True. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Both. Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I... Not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Our crime scene's drowning. Oh, yeah, it is. I never minded rain. Feels like home. No sign of a nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Okay, let's take a look. More triangles, of course. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good it's it's literally right there on the crime scene. Uh, let's see. What's this? Bare feet. Oh. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. Why are we going by ourselves? That makes no sense. Why are we tag teaming this? Okay, it's getting dark now. It's like nighttime. Oh boy. Okay, we don't want to go that way, right? Probably down here. Yeah, keep following the footprints. The tracks lead into the water. Oh no, no, no. Don't Where'd touch the go water. From here? I can feel something. A presence. Okay, opening this up, grabbing loot. Nightingale isn't far. Um which finder station is that one? Do I want to go that way? Oh, and there seems to be some... Is this light here? No, it's just a sign. Oh, the witch's ladle sign again. Oh, we've, we've been here before. Um, wait, do I want to go through the tree now? Is what that a... is that? Seems like it's reacting to the light. Yeah, hold on, what's this These first? aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. 
We can talk a flashlight boost R1 to increase damage to darkness and burn through dark substance. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. Okay. It's covering another page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. Why do you trust the pages? I, I can't hop up here, right? I guess I have to go all the way around. The witch's hut is pretty close here, actually, right? Um, we are here. It's just to the right and up the hill a little bit. Yeah. Up that little cliff. Are we going to get attacked along the way? Look at these ripples. I don't trust it. Is it like right around here? Yeah, right here. Okay. This is the witch's hut. Uh, it sounds kind of spooky in here. The page described the hut being lit and mentioned a fuse. But where? I don't see anything. How do we how do we light this place up? Let's take a look around back here. That's the sign. Is there a fuse box somewhere? And okay, not on this side. Anderson. Here we go. Thought I saw something in the woods. What do you see? Okay, I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. Okay, so we need the to find fuse a fuse. Is missing a fuse. Classic horror one game. One to turn on the lights. We need a find a fuse. A toot and a lighter? No. Yeah, RFP Casey. He's. This is his 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 doom. Oh, imagine we were pulled underwater back. That would suck. Okay. Don't fall stuff in the woods, dummy. That's rule number one. And yes, this will be uploaded as a VOD later. Absolutely. Okay, so it says there's a fuse in the immediate area. Um, where would I locate that? Do you think this is point of interest on the map? No, but I'm guessing it's probably at the campsite over here. If I had to guess. This fuse is busted. Darn. Okay. It's worth it. I hear a lot of whispers. Okay, we read this earlier. This one looks good. Why is there looks just like a fuse out here? Stop littering, though. Just outside in the rain. Okay. Throw the fuse in the box. Get the power back running. Uh, how do I do this? Uh, fuse. Okay, let there be light. The break room is a place where you can save your progress. Oh, manual save. Look at this. It's our first save. I'm going to do just two, just in case. I'm also going to do a quick save. That's our first save. We're in chapter two. We've been playing for over two hours. Wow. I forgot you can zoom in. It's, um, oh, that's different. What was the button? Nope. Nope. It was, I, I think it was I think it was this earlier, but now I'm in it's like a combat thing. I don't know. Yeah, the witch has apparently a safe break room, apparently. Apparently so. So just so everybody knows, our goal today is to get to the end of chapter two. That will be our destination. We're only near the beginning of it. But now I kind of know the gameplay and the mechanics, so it should be a little bit quicker. Another page. Ooh, here we go. Making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch, the smudged line on the heart, the second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Oh. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Oh, we know what sign that is, too. We know exactly that sign. So, well, what's all this? Okay, this is the manuscripts. Profiling. Let's go to Nightingale for profiling for a second. The overlap. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next.
next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. Absolutely. Uh, radio, no. Television, no. Look at this weapon upgrade. We have. Can we can we upgrade anything? Okay, so we have six parts in the top right corner. I don't even know how we got them. And then we have three upgrades, but we're not there yet. Map, case board. Here we go. Uh, triangle carving for cult symbols. And then what else do we have here? Murder Cauldron Lake. Figured all this out already. So this goes here, and that goes. Oh, that's nice. It automatically does it. I like that actually kind of more. And then Cauldron Lake Witch's Hut. Nice. The page from the Witch's Hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. And then that's it, right? Okay, we'll use these. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? Wait, what, what is this one? She squinted to read the smudge line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart witch. Show me the terror. <sighs> to get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. So where's the heart? We need to know. It's, it's not in here, right? Yeah, this is a safe room. Quick save. Hey, what's down here? Hold on. I think it's just ammo. Which we don't really need yet. There's gonna be some combat coming up, right? Oh yeah, the lunch boxes. I totally forgot about the lunch box. Okay, the oh, those give us the pieces for the ammo or the uh the gun upgrades. That's that's totally right. Good call on that one. The ritual to activate the magic seems really dumb to me, though, to read the words and put the heart through the sign hole. I wonder if it's just like a big metaphor kind of thing, like you're sacrificing the heart to the witch, who's maybe at the center of everything. I don't know. Oh, it's really raining. Where's, where's Casey at? So our goal right now is to find Nightingale's missing heart, perform the ritual to so Where's the heart, though? I see a light in the distance. Do we want to go there? Um, let's just take a look around. Unless our map tells us where we need to go. Oh wait, hold on. Sorry, I have a thing down the bottom right corner. Or sorry, bottom left corner still. Um, case board, I guess. Oh, I probably need to read this, don't I? The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence, familiar. She couldn't quite place it, something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, a mop and a bucket. A poster on the wall and in the cabinet another manuscript page oh is that the one we already found back to profiling we have nightingale again the heart i need nightingale's heart to get to the overlap where is it the cultist leaned close he was there but he was risen nightingale was there the opposite of sunspots who said that that's not it I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. The heart, where is it? Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. What? Why? Why? That's so weird. Okay, hold on. Uh, where's the heart? 
And I think now we can leave and go find- I need to check the general store for the heart. Okay, so now I do have to run all the way back to the parking lot, which is a uh, shortcut all the way there, all the way back through here, I guess. Um, how do I, what's the fastest way here? Oh yeah, he's at the murder site, so I should probably go find him. Yeah, why are they at the general store in the fridge? I don't get it. I, I don't understand why. It makes no sense. A lot of wind picking up here. Should I get into the light? Are we safe? We're safe here, right? Uh, we are not where I wanted to be, but this is, hold on, this is, can I get through here now? Oh, we definitely can't, Never mind. Here's this general store. Wait, is this the general store they're talking about or the one in this, in the, um, in the town? Hold on, let me take a look. Oh, we haven't read this yet. Monday. Some suspicious activity spotted. The fielder thought he saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but some were compromised by the fielder. Note to self, train the fielder. The next day, nothing to report. Some animals, regular. Wednesday. Hunters out after dark. Poachers? Heard some gunshots. Not one of ours. Gotta keep an eye on these people. They get more they bargain for out there. And I think we have to go all the way around. We can't get through that door there. Let's see if there's another... Yeah, there is. is there... Christ! Oh, just a deer. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. That deer's so lucky. Uh oh! oh. A flashlight? Uh-oh. Are you gonna go down? Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh oh, ow. Oh, I, there's one more shot. If only I didn't have to reload. The monster, like Nightingale. These painkillers will allow you to heal, God. I think we're fine though. Look at this guy. Okay, reloading. Does it want me to heal? Sure, uh, equip, I guess. I think we're okay though. Still being a little dramatic. Felt good. Nice. He, he was a little like a like a, um what do you call them? Like a like a, a tank. Like he took all the shots. He took like an entire clip, right? Okay, just all I want to know is where's the fridge? And is there any more of his friends around here? What's this? Okay, I got a page. Another manuscript page. Oh, that's totally where we need to go. The first loot. There's nothing in it? Lies. Okay. Flashlight. And there it is. Collect. The text on the heart is clearer now. The wave Magical. crashed on the far side of the mirror. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. Why? I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. Well, yeah, you you read about it. Okay, so now, now we have to go I back to the to sign. Give the heart to the witch, makes total sense. Does it though? Does it though? Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. Uh, so where's that <sighs> sign? Any city in America, I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Down here. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. Sure. That's one way to describe it. Uh, it was down here, right? I want to say. Yeah, uh, down here, and then the ladle, so kind of go around the bend, and then to the right. Jeez. Ms. James Bond, how you doing? Michael, good to see you as well. Why isn't this game on Steam? I know, it's only on Epic Game Store, which is kind of frustrating. I'd never use Epic Game Store, I only use Steam, so this is a bit different. Where's that sign with the witch on it? 
Is it this way? It might be at the bottom of this hill. Headshots and shooting the red. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Go for the red spots on them. Good to know. Good pro tip. Thank you, by the way. Hey, Kitty. Yeah, this game looks it looks really good, right? Wait, where's the where's the sign? Did I miss the sign? Which is ladles over here? Which sign's over? Okay, it's around the bend. Um, I can't go this way. I have to go kind of around a little bit. Hopefully we don't get attacked along the way. Is there, is there a second one? There is. One down. Ah, oh, come on. I'm not dead, right? Am I okay? Oh, come on, get out of the... No! Oh. Well, that escalated quickly. I think I got stuck or something. I couldn't get away. Jeez. I know, right? I had one job. Well, then. Jeez, we're, we're fine. We know now what to do. How far back do I go? Uh, what was this? I remember seeing this. But... Oh, I got more inventory spots. See, I meant to do that. There's a gun right here. Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. Oh. Oh, I didn't turn this direction. I came in. I got all excited about the freezer. I didn't even look to the right. Oh, hold on. We we got some stuff to do before we, we proceed here. Hold on. Where's Lady Fortuna? Where they call it? Uh, at the counter? Here we go. Um, Don't forget to update. Oh, don't forget to update code. Lotto Washington. 705, 713, 714. Sorry, 7, 17, 723. So it went up by 8, then by 4, then by 6. Is the next one going to be... What, what, what's the next one going to be? Five, thirteen, seventeen, twenty-three. It's going to be 39. 739. Hold on. Let's try it. Seven, three, nine. Nice, it worked. Huge brain. Oh. We have a sawed off shotgun. You can quick slot weapons from the inventory. You can also quick slot healing items and throwables. Yes! Okay, quick slot. Here. Handgun. Quick slot. Two. Here we go. Um. Painkillers. Sure, let's quick slot this over. Maybe down. Batteries for charging a flashlight and trauma pad. Ah, we're good. We're good. We have made some good decisions today. This is great. Right? 739, good call. I know everybody's everybody's doing from here on out. Hey Flocky, welcome in. How you doing? Yeah, what is it? Well, if it was like 696, 69, 420 was the code. Okay, so from here, let's see if I can like root myself again here. Uh, to the left a little bit, all the way down. So follow this path. Oh, I can't do it with my controller. All the way down here. So down here. But now we're more prepared. Now we have a shotgun in hand. Watch them go down like one hit now. We only have two bullets though, so I gotta be kind of careful. I do appreciate the automatic checkpoint system, though. That was really nice. Okay, ready for this? I can also go in the light. They can't see me in the light. I didn't think about that. Okay. There you are. Let's deal with you first and foremost. Look at that. Okay, hold on. In the light. Can't see me. He has no idea. Uh, 
done. Easy. I'm never gonna get used to this. Why could I have done that the first time? Oh, there's a like Slender Man for a second over there. I really like the shotgun. I want to use that a little bit more. Okay, here's where we can put the heart in here, right? To the witch's ladle. Creepy. Staring into my soul. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Okay, this is a little trippy. Enter the overlap for the witch's ladle. Oh, I love that. I love when those things happen. Casey, I think I'm in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! Oh, we can't connect to Casey. Casey, do you read me? Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. This is more like it, right? Logan? Logan. Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Okay, it's just messing with us. Virginia. You're imagining things. Sorry, I'm gonna do one more thing too. I know something like when the action happens, it's quite loud. So I'm gonna go do sound effects and just turn this down like a little bit like that. Keep the dialogue nice and I maybe use it down a little hair too. This'll be good. Now we can turn all this up. Keep us happy. Spoilers, I know, right? It's so good. It's it's how it's hard not to. I appreciate that pocket. Yeah, Casey Casey doesn't he's he's like, nah, I'm good. He's gonna hang back. Yeah, make make Casey go get the coffee for us. I think that's actually a really good plan. Uh is it this, do we, hold on, I probably don't have a map for this area, right? Yeah, undiscovered. Okay. Um. Oh, hold on. There's another tree area we can go into. What is the vision? What was that? Wait. Wait. Am I in a Did loop? Did I get turned around? No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. Oh no, not another another loop. It's PT all over again. Another manuscript page. I should probably take a look at that. Radio no, television no. Do I, oh, do I not need to need take a to look? find Nightingale? And I don't think I have anything else. We're good. Yeah, he's not paid enough for this. I can't blame him. Me neither, right? Okay, I guess we're going to keep continuing the loop. What the heck am I looking at? We're seeing like visions. Oh, this is cool lighting. I like this. Okay. Music? He's here. Nightingale. I wonder if there's boss fights in this game, which like fighting Nightingale. Visions. Who is that? What it's if it's like Alan. they're coming in over a bad signal. 
What are we looking at? It looks almost like, like a shop? A workshop? I can't tell. There's the tree again. Hmm. Items. Nightingale's badge. Take this, take this, take this. We we must be coming up on Nightingale. Say that's not a good sign. <laughs> Nightingale hunted saga. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. I dodged. I totally dodged that, right? Burn him, burn him. Dodge. Dodge too soon. Oh, that was a bad combination. It's also so dark too, so it's hard to see like the surrounding environment. Yeah, aim for the red hole. I know, not, a, not again. At their what? <laughs> I wish I had the, the the shotgun ammo. I could turn brightness up a little bit. Maybe I should. Hold on. Before we proceed. That's probably a good call because I can hardly see sometimes. Um, Graphics is our bright brightness calibration. I left it at default. I'll do a little bit of gamma. And like five punches of brightness. A little bit. Nothing crazy. Sorry, guys. I'm still, still coughing here. Okay, resume game. Okay, attempt number two. <laughs> Nightingale hunted saga. Okay. We're off the bat. Oh, I'm really bad at timing that dodge. Okay, I can move and do this at the same time. Yes, there we go. Uh oh, he has no more weaknesses. Headshots, I guess. I oh, I hit the dodge button. Okay, I need. To, I gotta. I gotta move. I gotta move. I gotta move. I gotta heal. Okay, try this again. Where's he? We moved. Oh shit. Um how do I get past that? Do I run? Or do I follow him? Let's grab this. Um, I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. Oh, hi! Completely cut me off. Oh, we have no more health, do we? Um, I. Oh, am I going this the right way? I do have a bandage, but I don't think the game pauses when I go to it, right? No, it doesn't. It doesn't pause. I'm just going to keep moving. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Use this heal. There we go. Um, I have, oh, I have shotgun ammo. Hi. Here we go. Another one. Okay, we took care of him that time. Oh, I love the shotgun. It's come in clutch so many times.
Okay, where is he now? I hear him. I hear him. Oh, ouch. What is that move? Like an earthquake? Shockwave? Oh, he's not slowing down. Do I want to kill him? I have no idea. I just keep moving, I think. Maybe it's one of those six situations where I have to keep running. Uh oh. Uh I oh there he is. Oh! Gosh, he's fast for his size. Okay. I totally dodged that. Okay, time to go. Time to go. Where do I... Where can I run? Oh, that was so close. Okay. Keep moving. I think I'm going back to where I came from, but this is fine. Okay, hold on. Um, oh, is there something here? Do I have time to get it? I can't see. No, 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 no. Please don't. Sprint away. Oh man, we're, we're hurting. I wish I could see where I'm going. I could use some help. This is... We're in dire straits here, I think. Um. Okay, hold on. Health. Trump pad. Heal. Oh, he's so fast. Just unleash. I'm gonna need more ammo, I think. Oh, yes! Oh, we did it. Alan Wake? Who are you? What is this? Who are you? Hear me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, sir. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Is that? Hey. Wait, wait, who's this? Are you okay? Oh, no! Oh. It's my fault! They got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... He's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13. Oh! <laughs> Ah, yes. What a cliffhanger, right? The man, the myth, the legend, he emerges. Alan Wake is here. 
I was wondering, like, when are we gonna see him? I was hoping we're gonna see him by the end of the chapter. That's awesome. So good, right? My man. Yeah, thanks, Alan. <laughs> the other writer? I can kind of go into some detail about Alan Wake and what he said was scratch in a second. It's like he kind of escaped, right? Hey, TSS. Yeah, right? Very long game. Very, very long one so far. That's only the end of chapter two. Okay, hold on. Let me just, let me get out of this. We're going to do a little save action here. Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. The crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Oh, yeah, it is. Casey. Say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Okay, and that's where we're going to leave it for tonight. All right, on. Next to me, menu. Any unsafe progress will be lost. I hope it saves automatically. There's no save game option. I I definitely hope it saves automatically. I think it does. I think it does. All right. Jeez. Hey, Mira, I see you. Welcome on in. How you doing? All right. I know that's that's definitely it's it's near that end of stream time too, right? But that's a, a really good spot to stop the stream or to stop the video that's what i should say it's the it's the it's the perfect spot to end the video here as we looked at chapter one and chapter two got the first glimpses of alan wake two pretty cool game right guys it's very very slow burn very investigative way more than i thought before uh of the original alan wake and we played mainly as as you know a saga not so much as alan right so far so it's like i'm kind of curious to see how this develops as there's like a back and forth or you only play saga maybe you play alan for a little bit then you know it kind of goes and changes perspectives and you can see glimpses of the past and stuff like that uh i did mention i was going to say something about the scratch situation so from what i remember it's been a really really long time again alan wake one came out like 13 years ago when Alan in the first game defeated the, the ultimate evil at the end of the game by putting the, the light clicker inside of it and, and blasting the, the final monster with light, it went in and, and went into the shadow realm. And I think from there it changed places and he, he, he wrote in or made this character called Mr. Scratch that looks and sounds exactly like him. It's like a doppelganger. But this Mr. Scratch started doing evil things in the human world as his replacement and tried to keep him banished in the Shadow Realm. So that's why he was kind of freaking about when he said the word Scratch there. And I think that's part of where the DLC kind of goes into from the first game that, you know, you try and investigate and try and get rid of like Mr. Scratch kind of thing. 